Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel again. <clears throat> well, I've got something for my many CSEs arrived today. So you'll probably already guessed it's something to do with FPV. Yep, yeah, it's the new Thrasher FPV tiny little stubby antenna. You may not have seen one before, so uh, let's get it out and have a look. All the specs and stuff like that will be in the uh, description and also a link. And if I can ever get this bloody thing open, I'll show you the thing. Ah, there we go. Got another little mini sticker. And there it is. It's as simple as that. Right, this is the uh, SMA mail with a uh, little pin, but uh, it's one of these practically indestructible jobbies, right? It's bulky ish, right? However, there is reasons for it because uh, they've increased the gain rate, right? So you're getting, well, about the best FPV uh, signal you're going to get, basically. Right, so like I said, I'll leave all the specs, right, because I don't like, like to talk too much jargon in case you're like a brand new pilot and your eyes gloss over then you just think bugger it and you stop watching. Right, so I like to try and keep things simple. So if you're interested in the specs, just look in the description and I'll leave them all there. Yeah, but uh, the bottom line is, right, it's a new right FPV antenna called a Thrasher from Menisarsi and uh, according to all the information right, uh, it's a bloody good one and it gives just about the best uh, FPV experience right? and it's one of them indestructible little buggers now the reason why I liked it right, because it is a little bit bigger right? then shall we say, hang on back in two and I'm back yeah that's what I went for <laughs> This is yeah, your Luminia UX2. Uh, this was like your tiny little stubby uh, FPV antenna. Right, this cracked, that's why I've got some heat shrink on. Right, but uh, price range as well, these are about 17 quid. And at the moment from uh, Menace RC, these are about eight pound. So, <laughs> I mean, and on the specs, these are better, right? And they're meant to, uh, and I say meant to, I haven't tested it yet, meant to give out uh, one of the best uh, ranges uh, on the market at the moment, right, for the, this size little stubby. But, uh, and because it's a thrasher, it's called a thrasher because it's uh, meant to be super strong. I have to keep saying meant to be, right, because I haven't tested it yet. But uh, sizes, yeah, it's a little bit bigger than your Luminia, right, quite a bit bigger in that respect, but that's where the extra shall we say antenna receiving sending power comes from but uh, I'm quite impressed with it it feels good and uh, yeah let's go give it a test eh? let's go stick it on some up rip about and I'll uh, let you know what the signal and stuff like that's like let's get to the field <clears throat> okay then pilots right uh, we've got to the field now what I've done is I've deliberately put that little stubby antenna on this quad because as you can see, or hopefully you can see, it's half hidden behind the battery. Right? So I'm trying to make it work for itself, if you know what I mean. So if I get a really good signal from this with it being half hid, we know it's a bloody good uh, FPV antenna. But I just thought I'd show you that. It's going to be a steady flight. All I'm going to do is have sort of like, well, not long range, because I'm not flying long range. All right, but sort of like the average sort of distance, right the way to the other end of the field, all right, and round and back and stuff. And uh, just a slow, steady flight. And then there's some trees at the other side of us. Fly around there, see if I get any break up or out like that. And uh, I'll show you the DVR footage, but uh, it'll be a case of, as we all know, DVR ain't great no matter what antenna you use. But, uh, oh, we've got a truck coming by. Take five. Don't know how noisy that is. Oh, bloody cars everywhere as well. Would be on a road, eh? Okay then, anyhow, let's get into the air. You get the gist. All right. And uh, let's see what happens. Cheers. 
Raven Pilot, the first thing I wanted you to spot is my FPV antenna on the goggles. I've got it pointing the wrong way. I've got it facing on an angle. I actually forgot to put it upright, which should hinder the signal. I want you to see that. Also, the bloody sun has gone in. It's gone dark and miserable all of a sudden. Just a second ago. Now we're on. Yeah, I've just did, uh, well, just in case the antenna was rubbish and the signal lost straight away, I just went behind them few little trees there. I, and uh, you probably noticed this is not DVR. I forgot to turn the bloody DVR on, so it's just me HD camera. I, and hold on, that's by the imaging, brilliant, but uh, you'll get the juice with me telling you. So far, I've had zero breakup, right? But I haven't really pushed it, as you can see. Just testing round the tree, see if there's any interference around. Just a slow, steady flight. Obviously in summertime when there's loads of leaves on the trees, it may be slightly different, but uh, you'll get the juice. Still no break up at all, and I go right to the end of that field in a moment. Now remembering where the antenna is, right, right there, right now, I get a little bit of static as I'm just hovering, right, not much, just a little bit of static, and it's gone now, right, but of course the antenna is more closer to me, shall we say. Now don't forget, I've got my antenna on my goggles, you see, I'm still getting a great image there, the antenna is behind the battery. Uh, if I remember rightly, it did flicker a little bit, but then that's it. As soon as I tilted forward, it was perfect signalling. I remember that antenna is behind the battery. Now there is a point where we get a big chunk of break up, but only for a split second or two. Right there. Right there, I got a break up. The screen went all static and then it, it came back again. But only for that second. Yeah, as I land, if you take another look at me antenna on the goggles, I'll tell you what, I'll hold it when I take a step. <laughs> well, you can still see from there. You can see the actual uh, FPV antenna is facing along the goggles. I haven't pointed it up to the sky. So I've got a bloody good image all the way without actually having the FPV antenna on the goggles in the correct position. So this little stubby antenna then, uh, from the uh, Menis RC, the Thrasher, right? And funnily enough, uh, I actually did have a bit of a bump, right? But it was only a little one, so I didn't bother putting it in, right? So you can't tell, but uh, yeah, the Thrasher, it seems very strong. Bloody good signal, and especially, and I'm saying it again, that I had the FPV antenna on my goggles wrong, wrongly fitted, shall we say, wrongly mounted. Not correctly mounted, bloody hell, God. Yeah, so I'm happy with it. Uh, I think it's a bloody good FPV antenna for your models. And also, uh, long range, if you've got a uh, model aeroplane, fusing IC planes or a fixed wing or something like that, uh, you, you mount that on top, you're going to get a bloody good signal actually for long range on your planes. So, yeah, that's me. Quick little review. Well, quick, it bloody dragged on again. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. So, I uh, recommend it. So, links in the description. Check it out. Bloody good at a bloody good price. Cheers, Menace. And thanks for watching.